back to Bad Bad Bowling 101 with your boy Coach C. Today we're going to be talking about spare shooting, right? So, spare shooting, spare shooting, spare shooting. Um, I know a lot of us, when we learn how to bowl, learn how to bowl with, you know, you throw a hook, hook ball at the 10 pin, you hook at the 7 pin. However, for me, spare shooting has been tricky, right? I'm excellent at everything but the 10 pin. I've struggled for years and years and years with the 10 pin. Um, people say, hey, line up on 31 or 32 and hit the middle middle arrow. So follow me up here, guys. They say, line up 31, 32 and throw it over the middle arrow. Well, that's, that angle just doesn't work for me. Every, they say everybody has a system. You know, and then they say move three right for the uh, the six pin, right? And then and then they say move three more right for the three pin. Well, everybody again has a system. For me, I have a little bit of a different system. Um, for me, I target twenty five. How do I do it? You ask. So I stand with my feet. Now I know the camera don't show my feet, but I stand with my feet on forty. Sometimes 42, depending on what's on the lane. And then what I'm doing is, is I'm turning my body so that my body's in position, right? So my body is at my target, right? So you got that, guys? My body is at my target. So being that my body's at my target, what I do is I'm going all the way through and I'm targeting in between 25 and 20 and 25 to give me the best percentage chance of completing the tempest. All right, so let's go ahead and show you. Let's demo this. So I'm gonna be at 42 with my feet. I'm gonna point my body to the target. Like I said, body to the target. And then it's, again, the release. Just has to be normal, and it's my normal release, which you have to understand what your normal release, right? And then we get to our full, full approach with our normal release. Targeting 25, voila. You see that? So I'm 42, and I'm in. Be, I'm looking at that area between 20 and 25, voila. Okay. One more. All right. All right. So remember, plastic ball. Same release for me. It's just getting out of it. Which let me back up. It's just getting out of it normal. So. I'm just getting out of it flat and clean, allowing the ball to get to where it needs to go. So again, we're gonna go over to 42, right? 42, and then again, I'm focused in, I'm focused, my focus, mine alone is really at 25, but what it does, it gives me miss room, right? So my body again is at my target, right? At my target, and this is what works for me. Perfect. See? Perfect, right? Now, does it work? Sure, you're watching it. But here's the funny part, right, guys? This is what I found works for me. So am I saying that it's 100% foolproof and it'll work for you guaranteed? Nothing is always guaranteed. Nothing is 100% foolproof. But it's a starting point. It works for me. Matter of fact, tell you a secret. Um, I really... The best I've really ever been is about 80%, but using this method, which is an old school method. The guy that, that, that helped Coach Steve with this to develop these particular things is a bowler from the 70s and 80s, and this is what he used back then. And it's funny because it makes the most sense to my body. So this is what I use now to be, um, I'm hoping, in the high 90%. Okay? All right, guys. So what's the takeaway? Spare ball. With our normal release, with, with a flat release, lined up in the correct position. Make sure you finish your breath. So I'm at 42 again, looking at 25. Right at it. Like clockwork, right? And the craziest part is, um, I use a similar system for the seven pin. All right, so I just want to reiterate this to you. 42, body towards, position towards it. 
and then all we're doing is a regular rolling release. Targeting 25, make sure you finish your breath. And you never miss. See? And I didn't exactly hit 25, I kind of hit 26 ish. So, it works, right? Now, what we're going to do is try to get you a couple of seven pens or four pens so I can show you how to pick up the right side, okay? All right, Abby, I need you to throw some shots. All right, guys, I thought I'd throw in a bonus, right? So, three, six, three, six, ten. For the 10, I'm at 42, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move into 40, okay? And I'm going to throw the same exact place. See? So all I did is move two to change my angle. Still threw it at 25. And bingo was his name, Oak. I know. Weird system, but only thing I can tell you is try it and see. All right, so listen, that was how I get the 10 pin and all pins on the left. So, and I just move one board each. So, I don't know, man. Let's move over. We're going to go five here. Um, second arrow. And make it easy. Without the guide hand? Huh? Without the guide hand? All right, so, again. Nine board, seven board, eight board, throwing straight at the second arrow. It tends to work more than it don't. Um, but that's when I'm throwing straight at my spares. And I recommend that that's what we do. Um, you asked me for a more in-depth in on the 10 pin. So that's how I get the 10 pin. I know 42 out. And then let me see if I can't get some examples for you guys with some of my kids real quick that I coach. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys. So here's one of my students. I got him going 42 to 25, and he's going to use the extreme envy. So let's see if he can get it just hooking at it. Yep. Look at that. See? The math is still math. All right, guys. So I'm going to have him for our last shot um, at 42 to 25 just to demonstrate how it works. Again, 42-25, and he's using the Extreme Envy, which is a reactor ball that hooks. See? Perfect. Perfect alignment. So, now you see that 42 and looking at 25, well, he was at 40 and 25, but it does work. So, if you want to try it, hey, please do. And this is Coach C. Make sure you hate, like, comment, and subscribe. This is Bad Bad Bowling. This is how to pick up the 10-pin spares. Have a great day.